Welcome to the Learning Box by Punton Kids. I hope everyone's enjoying the sessions and my little ones are practicing what they're learning. And mommies and daddies, hopefully you all are following up with them. Yes. And today we are going to learn something new, something different as always. While we can also have some fun. Yes. So are all my children ready? Yes, let's get set and go. Look what I have here for you. I'm sure you all are already looking here with your owl's eyes, right? Because there's something new on the board. So this is a graph. Yes, and because we are going to make it into bars, this one is called a bar graph. What is it called? Bar graph. Yes, and do you know what are graphs used for? They are used for a visual presentation. That means we can just see and get to know how many things are there, not there, which one is less, which one is more. Yes, you'll have all learnt already, right? Less and more. Yeah, which one is equal? That is the same quantity. So instead of sitting and counting here, if I have a graph, which is a solved one, then I don't need to sit and count. Yes? So you all, all want to learn it? Everybody wants to learn it? So let's start. See what I have here. Which creepy crawly is this? Yes, you're right. It's a lady bird. Or you can also call it a lady bug. So what are we going to do? I'm going to use a red crayon for a lady bird. And we are going to count how many lady birds do we have here. And we will color one box for each ladybird okay so come on you have a ladybird let's see let's see how many ladybirds do i have let me count one two three four five yes i have five ladybirds so how many boxes will i color here five boxes yes so let's color five boxes And that's done with my five boxes. Okay. Let's see which one do we have next. Which creepy crawly is this? Yes, it's a butterfly. And we have a pink crayon for the butterfly. So what are we going to do? We are going to count the butterflies. And we are going to color one box for each butterfly. So if I have one butterfly, I will color one box. If I have two butterflies, I will color two boxes. If I have five butterflies, I will color five boxes. Okay, so let's count the butterflies. Come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my God, I have 10 butterflies. So I have to color 10 boxes. That means right from bottom to the top. Okay. So I have 10 butterflies. So I'm going to color 10 boxes. So we've colored 10 boxes for the butterfly because we have 10 butterflies. Now let's see, I have a yellow crayon for the bee. So, let's count the bees and then color one box for each bee. So, if there's one bee, we'll color one box. If there are four bees, we'll color four boxes. So, let's see how many bees do we have. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven. So, we have seven bees. So, let me see. One, two, three, four, six, seven here. Yes seven boxes and color them yellow for the bee yes because bee is black and yellow in color so I'm using yellow for the bee
and the boxes for the b is done so we have seven boxes for the b and what do we have next oh we have a dragonfly which creepy crawly is this dragonfly so let's count how many dragonflies do we have come on one two that's it no there are more three four five how many dragonflies five dragonflies so how many boxes will i color five boxes very good so there you go there's number five and here i'm going to use peach color for the dragonfly because the dragonfly here is peach and there the boxes for the dragonfly are ready okay and which is the last creepy crawly down here yes that's the grasshopper so let's count how many grasshoppers okay come on one two three so now you all tell me how many boxes will i color yes you're right three boxes there are three grasshoppers so we will color three boxes and there the boxes for the grasshopper are ready yes so now just imagine if you didn't have this even then by just looking at the bar graph you can just tell see you have five ladybirds because you have colored up to five you have 10 butterflies because you've colored it up to 10 you have seven bees because you've colored up to the seventh box you have five dragonflies because you've colored five boxes and you have three grasshoppers because you've colored three boxes so it's so easy this is called collection of data so without sitting and counting we can just see the bar graph and tell what do we have the most the least and which is equals to yes which is more which is less which is equal which is the least that means absolutely low in number which is the most maximum yes so see which is the highest bar here which creepy crawly has the highest bar most number of boxes yes butterfly so that means there are more 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 butterflies than any other insects yes and which is the smallest bar the shortest one yes the one for the grasshopper that means there are very few grasshoppers there are no other creepy crawlies that are less than the grasshopper yes and there are two creepy crawlies which are equal in number who can tell me which ones are equal which ones are equal yes you're right see there are five ladybirds and in the same row here you have the dragonfly so the dragonfly and the ladybirds are equal yes so now have we all learnt about the bar graph you all will be able to tell me the data if i show you another one yes okay come on get set yes it's like an exam yeah so are all my babies ready for the little test yes you'll all know bar graphs there's nothing to worry okay so what i have here is a bar graph for fruits yes we did the one for creepy crawlies so now we have for fruits see so by just looking at this graph we can come to know which are the different fruits that are there and how many of each are there right so there are apples there are bananas, there are chikus, there are guavas and there are oranges. 
yes and how are we going to come to know how many of each so remember for the creepy crawlies there was one box for each kind of creepy crawly in the same way there is one box for each fruit yes so let me see who knows who's going to tell me how many apples do we have come on everyone count count how many boxes are there yes tell me let's see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 yes there are eight apples okay we will see it later and how many bananas come on 1 2 3 4 5 there are five bananas and what about the chikus 1 2 3 three boxes for the chikus and for the guava same like the apple so we don't even have to count it's the same line so there is eight so there so there are eight and this goes right to the top so that's eight till here nine and 10 so there are 10 oranges yes there are 10 oranges now what am i going to do i'm going to open the graph and let us check if our answers are correct okay are we ready let's see so we have the open graph now and let's see if the data that we have collected is correct okay so we said that there are eight apples yes correct so there are eight boxes for the apples and we've written there are five bananas yes so there are five boxes for the bananas then there are three chikus so we have three boxes which is correct and we have eight boxes again for the guava so which is correct and 10 boxes for the oranges so we got all the data correct but we have to match it with this data that means we have to see if there are correct numbers here maybe the boxes are wrong so let's see that come on so what do we have first apple yes so let's count the apples come on 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 yes so there are eight apples here and there are eight boxes here and we've written eight so we are right superb and the next is bananas so let's count the bananas that we have come on 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 yes so there are five bananas here five boxes and we've written five yes see how easy we collected the data without sitting and counting one one just counting the box quickly so this is a bar graph now let's see the chikus how many chikus do we have come on 1 2 3 and the number is 3 and three boxes and we've written three so there are three chikus chikus are the least that means the lesser and lesser and lesser there are no other fruits which are lesser than chikus and let's see the guavas how many guavas do we have let's pick a green for the guavas come on let's count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 8 guavas superb and there's 8 here and we've written 8 so we got it right again and there are guavas which are equal to the apples see because it's the same row and let's see how many oranges do we have we are going to take orange color and let's count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 
so the maximum fruit is orange because it has the highest the tallest bar yes so did you see how easily by just looking at the bar graph we can come to know which are the less number of fruits which are the more number of fruits which are equal in number isn't that so simple you just look at it and you get the data in a jiffy and now all of you should in a jiffy share like and subscribe if you enjoyed the session and learned about the bar graph until then take care and i'm going to see you all soon bye